So hello and welcome to another riveting Python video. This time we're going to be showing you what you get when you purchase our Raspbian SD card with the Quake 3 Arena demo. It's um, pretty much the same as a standard uh, Raspbian image. It's uh, always the latest, most stable Raspbian image that the Foundation provides. And here it's booting up. Now what we have done now is we've made it auto login. So log you in as user pi. And it comes up with a little menu. There you go. And this lets you get right in the action. You can press P uh, to play Quake 3, the demo. Q to quit to your operating system and S to shut down safely. So let's get playing. Quick. You'll have to skip past the CD key screen. Uh, when you've got the full game, you can add your CD key. In the demo, uh, everything is working except multiplayer. And of course, you only have a few levels with the demo. Uh, we've set our video mode quite high. Just change our player name. So if you're familiar with Quake 3 Arena, uh, this is Quake 3 Arena, the demo. Frame rate counter on the top right hand side there. I think that's pretty playable. Now, one of the reasons we've done this is that the Raspberry Pi Foundation uh, talks about Quake a lot, and recommends it actually for testing your uh, overclocking on your Pi. But it wasn't particularly easy to get a hold of. So we asked permission uh, from John Carmack to be able to distribute the Raspberry Pi, uh, the Quake demo for the Raspberry Pi, and he granted us that permission. So when you finish the game, you drop back to the menu. Now, we overclocked our Pi for this demo, but um, it ships the SD card ships without any overclocking, it's just standard Raspbian settings. So you might want to quit the operating system and run um, Raspi com Raspi config and play about with your overclocking settings. Uh, for this demo uh, we had it on high uh, this just needs a little bit of experimentation on your part. Some Raspberry Pis overclock better than others, it would seem. We've got another Raspberry Pi, which also seems to overclock to high. But as soon as you start playing Quake 3, it reboots. Um, that's with exactly the same SD card image and exactly the same power supply. So you just need to test this. and. Also being standard uh, Raspbian image, you might need to set up your sound or your networking if it doesn't work out of the box. Now, one thing we discovered uh, 
when playing around with the Quake source code is it's still got um, stereoscopic implementation and it works really well with a few problems but uh, if you've got a 3D telly um, just try this out if you log in now access the console you do that with the tilde key and then what you type in is r underscore stereo enabled space one that's going to switch on um, proper side-by-side -side 3D stereoscopic rendering. You have to restart once you've done it. Uh, but let's write again and see what happens. Of course, this isn't going to look uh, stereoscopic, but you'll see there are two images of everything. And what you'd do with your uh, 3D TV, if you're lucky enough to have one, is you would switch it into 3D mode, and uh, in particular the side-by-side -side 3D mode. Uh, the 3D TV we had had two pictures side-by-side, -side and two pictures one above the other, for the different ways you can do stereoscopic. As you can see here, this uses the side-by-side -side. And it looks really good. It really adds uh, amazing depth. It looks like it's playing inside your TV. Now we won't uh, dwell on that, uh, but if you've got a 3D TV, give that a go. It's it's really worth doing. Uh, there are a few minor problems with it, but we're going to work on that over the future. It's a standard Raspbian image, so you get your desktop, get everything else. Um, get the extra games that we add. So, you don't need to faff around anymore. You can, uh, if you're in the market for an USD card, we don't charge any extra. Just grab one of ours, and you can play Quake 3 demo. See you next time.